Okay, so if you're watching this video, then you've obviously set up a new project in Premiere Pro and you are ready to import your footage. But before I show you how to do that, I'm just gonna do a quick overview of what we're looking at right here. So when you first open up Premiere, you're probably gonna see these five panels right here. So here, 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 and here. This layout is the default layout for the editing tab up here. But if we click on color, for example, it's gonna have a different default layout that has other things that are important for color grading. And effects will be the same thing, so different things here that are more essential for effects. If you click over on assembly, yours is not gonna look like this because I've already customized this layout just for importing footage. So my assembly tab is just for importing footage. So I've gotten rid of every panel or tab that is not essential for importing footage. Then when I'm done importing, I'll click over to editing and I will start editing my project from here. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna use this layout to show you how to import your footage. The only thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna hover here on these darker lines and I'm gonna increase this, crunch this up, and then go over here and just slide this over to give myself more space in this panel right here. So what you're looking for, because yours might be somewhere else, is this project panel right here. And the name of my project is Import Tutorial, and this is where we're gonna import our footage to, and it's gonna show up down here. All right, so the first way that I'm gonna show you how to import is simply by going to here where it says Import Media to Start and double-clicking. That's gonna bring up your file explorer, and then you just gotta click and find the folder that you are going to import from. So mine's on the desktop. I'm gonna use this import video folder, so I'm gonna double click there, and this is the footage that I'm going to import. If you only wanna import one file, then just click on it, and then click open, and it'll bring it in. If you wanna bring in multiple clips that are not side by side, then just click on the first clip that you wanna import, then hold command or control, and click on the other clip that you wanna import and then go click open. If you wanna select a whole chunk of them, then just click over to the side and make a box around all the clips that you want. Or if it's a bigger string of files, then click on the first one and then hold shift and click on the last one and it'll select all the ones in between and then click open. You can also bring in a complete folder like this that has other clips in it. So if you look in here, I have three other clips and for that one, all you have to do is click on it, just like if it was a single file, and then click Import Folder over here instead of Open. And if you have all these ones and you wanna bring everything in, I would suggest not just highlighting it like this, I'd go back to Desktop, click on that whole Import Folder folder, and then go click Import Folder here, and you can see it'll import all your files and it'll maintain that same folder structure. So I have the import video folder, I had all those individual clips that I had in there, and that folder that said outside with those three snow clips in it. Now, you can also import here, but instead of double clicking, it'll do the exact same thing if you go up to file and then down to import, that'll bring up the same file explorer thing. And you can also do it using the keyboard shortcut, which is control or command I, and again, that same file explorer will open up for you to be able to select your files and then select open or import folder to import. Okay, so another way to import your footage is simply by opening your file explorer, so your folder here. So maybe you have this open and you're like searching through your files. So maybe you wanna watch this, go, hmm, I wonder if this is the clip that I want. Yep, that's the one. And then all you have to do is click on it and drag it over right into here and just let go and it'll dump it in over there. So I already have one, it just makes a duplicate right there. The only problem with doing it this way is that when you drag in a folder, so if I drag in this folder and drop it in, you can see it'll make that copy, but now if I do this drop down, it doesn't actually bring in the clips. So this one does, this was the original one that I brought in and it brought them in, this one doesn't. So for this way, you'd have to go back, go into that folder, select them all, and then drag that into the folder so it'll bring them in and there they go. And then finally, the last way that I'm gonna show you is by using the media browser right in here. So if you click on media browser, it basically opens up the folder structure that you would have under your file explorer here, but right in Premiere. So if I drop this down, I have to go to users, I gotta go to Delinsky, and then I have to go down to, where is it, desktop, and that has a bunch of my folders in it. So I'm gonna have to expand this a little bit. Now, this is where you can see that 
This is why I use the assembly tab over here. So I'm gonna go over here now and it has all of my stuff there. And you can see that if I switch over to the icon view, you can make them a little bit bigger. Even by sliding here, you can make them even bigger. And having this extra space in assembly is really nice. But if I go over to media browser, I can do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna to go to users, I'm gonna to go to Delinsky, I'm gonna to go to my desktop, and now I can see these folders, but I have a lot more space to work with. So now if I go down to the import folder here and I click on it, I can now see my previews. Now this is still in the folder. This isn't imported into Premiere yet. These are just previews. So I can like scrub through and go, yep, that's the clip, or click on it, like I said, and slide the slider here or spacebar to make it play to watch it and go, yep, that's the one. And then the same thing, if you want this clip, and you want other ones, you can go, oh, I'm gonna go hold control and click on, I want this one, this one, and this image. And then all you have to do is right click on it and go to import, and then it's gonna import it into your project. So now it's out of media browser and it's brought it into your project. So if I go back to my main project, I'm gonna see an import video. If I open that up, I'm gonna go back to list view so we can see it brought in duplicates again of those three clips and now I have kind of multiples of them in here but yours would be other clips that you're bringing in. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about importing your footage into Premiere. But once you have everything in, now you have to start editing. So this is when I'd click back to this editing tab and I'd have my footage all right here. I'd just probably adjust this and put this back to the layout that I wanted when I wanted to start editing and I'm good to go. So if you wanna know more about customizing your layout or actually how to start editing, make sure you check out the other videos that I have linked in the description below, which are all part of my getting started with Premiere Pro video series. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.